In this video I'm gonna show you how I insulate the rest of the van. As you saw in the previous video I have put down the subfloor and under that I have the Armaflex. And that's just to save height. The Armaflex and the subfloor together is around two centimeters so I do not want to uh, go over that because I am on almost two meters in height and I'm already rubbing my head against the ceiling so the more height I can save, the better. Uh, another thing is that in the ceiling right here, it's only three centimeters. And uh, the thinnest sheet of express foam I could find was five centimeters, so that will not do. And here is this one, it's around five centimeters. So what I had to do was I had to find a way to cut it. And uh, if you stay tuned in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Uh, it's a little bit tedious to get it cut, but I only had to cut, I think it was three sheets. So not too bad because I don't need that many sheets in the roof and in the walls, I can use the five centimeters sheets as usual. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. wire to hold it up. So I have a scrap piece here that I take a part of. Align this where I want to. Make sure there are some gaps on either side so I can get in the spray foam. Then I'm just putting in this hair. And it's gonna sit like this until I can go around with the foam or the spray foam. So I had a problem that I actually find a good solution for and that I'm gonna show you how I did it and how you can do it. It's very easy, very cheap and of course if you can find what I didn't find you don't have to do it but what I had to do was to find a way to cut this. So I made a foam cutter with wire because I could only find this in five centimeters and I in the roof needed two and a half, three centimeters because I am almost two meters so I have to be mindful about the height. It's unfortunately because it's gonna be less of insulation but uh, I'm rather cranking the heat up a little bit and can stand straight. With that said, let me show you how I split these two in half. So this is what I'm using to cut the foam. It's just regular wooden screws, two and a half centimeters above the surface. And this is just a regular furniture piece that I'm cutting to length. This is Nichrom wire. It's the same wire you use when vaping. And this is the wire I used. And I'm used around 13 volt. And I think I was up to two and a half, three amps. One thing to remember when you're doing this is that Every time you use this, it's gonna slack. So you have to tension this every time you have cut something, especially if it's a big board that's gonna have some retention on this 
wire. Uh, another thing to remember is that metal expand when it's getting heated. So put on the heat. Uh, so this is getting hot before you tension it because otherwise it's just gonna loosen up when you have tension it when it's cold. It's a little finicky, I know, uh, but it works. And I fortunately had not that many boards I needed to cut. So this works perfectly for me for the application. Uh, but yeah, you can really do this much better. As you can see, it's a lot of puzzling and in this instance you can think that you can get the whole piece in and maybe you can, but I couldn't. So I just split it on the middle and take one piece at a time. This is another way to do it. You can put aluminium tape over the over the cuts, cuts because bigger pieces like this, you, you aren't gonna fit it in one go. So this I had to cut up in four pieces. And because I the pieces is uh, snugly fitting together and there is no gap to talk about, I'm just putting aluminium tape over it and filling the sides around it with foam. I notice right now when I put on the heat and I haven't covered the whole van, just about 60%, uh, including the floor, and it's uh, heating up quickly, really quickly. Uh, and it's around the zero outside to about three plus Celsius. So yeah, uh, I think however you do the insulation, as long as you cover as much as you possibly can, and as long as you don't have a lot of air gaps all over, I think you're gonna be fine. So I'm done insulating the doors. Uh, I'm gonna paint this and put it up and have the door completed. So this is just temporary, this one, because I may put in the window there later on, but uh, so this is just uh, loose. So I'm just putting it in and it has, have some properties in regard of uh, insulation and if I want to I just put down the side and, and put in a window there. But one extra thing I did down here in the doors, the uh, same for this one, was that I got this. And this is stone wool, it's uh, what you use in homes and such. The most important thing when you combine different materials is that the properties is roughly the same. Stone wool is, uh, I think it's non-hydroscopic and that means that it doesn't absorb moisture and the same for the XPS foam. All this was uh, 50 bucks and it's gonna be enough to cover the areas that's left in this van, like the door side, even if I have the Armaflex there, I'm gonna put in some more insulation because you can't have enough insulation. Something like that. And this is gonna be encapsulated with one MDF board on top. And then I think it was one big board on top of that. So it's gonna be two boards.
So I'm gonna cut this video a little bit shorter than I usually do because I don't have more footage. Uh, yeah, I forgot to film because I had to get along. Uh, I have gotten some time restriction. In 20 days, the house is gone. Yes, I got it sold, finally. Eight months it took. But I got it sold and in 20 days, the new owner is gonna take over. Uh, and I gonna try to have the van as completed as I can at least sleep in it. So with that said, I have some time restrictions, so I'm just gonna have to do things. I'm gonna try the best I can to document and film everything and upload it for you. But I can't promise that it's gonna be perfect, uh, but I'm gonna do what I can. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you my process to put in windows and the fan in the roof. Uh, that's, that was a fun, fun thing to do actually. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and like this video so you don't miss the next one. And with that said, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.